Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with this submarine right here. Now, this video is actually going to be a very short one, and essentially it is going to be talking about why I am going to leave this submarine in this state. Essentially, uh, some Stormworks builds I get to, I actually really like continuing with them for a long, long time. This one isn't actually one of those. I feel like I've got to the situation where it sort of works in a decent way. Um, we've got it so most of the rooms actually look okay on the inside. Um, a lot of it does actually work, which is pretty good. There are a few quirks though, and that is why I'm making this video. Because uh, there is going to be a few quirks into this or in this submarine when I upload it to the workshop. Now, hopefully you guys don't get super upset with that, but um, yeah, you guys can definitely uh, fix it and work it out for yourselves. Uh, but today, I figured we'd go through all of the little things that we have and see what you guys actually think about them. So, let's start at the, uh, the top and the front, and we'll go from there. Okie dokie, so this room right here, of course, is actually our anti-aircraft defense system thingamabobby. You can actually lo like load this into the sky like so, and then to launch the actual weapons, you go one, two, three, and four, and they launch upwards from the front. They are radar guided, but they're not amazing, so be careful with those. Uh, you might have to guide them a little bit towards the, uh, the actual enemy. Anyway, let's step backwards. This right here is our dorm room kind of setup. As you guys can see, there are uh, four beds on this side and four beds on this side where you can actually go to sleep in this thing. That is um, pretty cool. It's like a roll off, roll off, roll on, roll off system. So if you had a bunch of people working on the submarine, uh, essentially when someone gets out of bed, someone else gets into that bed. Uh, believe me, that is a real thing. It's kind of crazy, but there you go. Um, I would say this thing right here actually is kind of weird. This is the sonar. And honestly, that's a bit of an issue. It just looks a little bit strange being in the dorm room, but it is theirs. So there you go. Anyway, stepping backwards, we have a sink and we have a stove. That is literally all we've got in the galley. And we've also got this little storage room right here for all of the food. That, not too bad. Over here, we've got the little bit where you can eat. I guess that is actually the galley. I've never actually had those fall down on me before. That was all the AA missiles. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, this is the little seats that you can actually sit at when you want to eat. And um, I guess it sort of fits in here, so that's pretty good. I do need to fix that right there, because uh, that shouldn't be like that. Um, and then right here, we've actually got a way downstairs and actually a way upstairs as well. That doesn't work, though. Yeah. Okay, so moving backwards, we've got this room right here. This is, of course, our command center room kind of thing. Uh, and as you guys can see, this is where you drive it from. Uh, these are the decoys that you can launch on the back of this thing. These guys right here. Um, and then if you go this way, we have our missile system. So you turn the monitor on. You go ahead and select a little location for them to fire at. Let's go ahead and check that out. Bam, bam. Here we go. So let's say we wanted to fire at... I don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. But let's go ahead and say this place right here. Bam. You'd go ahead and set the GPS to there. You'd set an altitude, usually it's around 25, so we're going to go with 25. And then you just open the missile hatches, which it does. Let's zoom in so you guys can see that. There it is, they're all open, and then you fire. Three, two, one. And they will go towards the target eventually. Uh, it does take them a little while to actually turn around though, but it's still cool. Anyway, moving backwards from there, we actually have the sonar. As you guys can see, it has a ping on there, which is pretty cool. On this side, we have the radar, which is on the top of the periscope. And this is our periscope right here. You press 2 to load it up into the sky. You press 1 for IR mode. And then you can just spin it around and have a little look around. Pretty awesome. And then I believe, finally, for this room... Oh, no, not actually finally. We have this bit right here. This is actually our ballast tank setup. You can fill up the middle and the back and also the front. Uh, right here. You can also empty it right there as well. Going backwards, we've actually got the torpedo little room right here, so you can open the front hatches, and then fire one, two, three, and four. There you go. And then you close that one, and then you open up the rear hatches, and you fire five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. All of those seem to have dived, and I'm not entirely sure why. That's kind of weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and close all those up. There we go. Good. And that is awesome. Okay. In the center of this, we've actually got this guy right here, which is a little interactive map. If we go backwards from there, we have our little ballast tank um, 
I don't know, ballast tank repair little setup right here. So you can actually go into there, you can repair things, and then you can come back in here. And, um, yeah, you can actually repair it all on the outside of this from the inside. It's kind of cool. Alright, moving backwards, we have a little storage room with a bunch of equipment in it. Moving backwards from there, we actually have some dorm rooms, uh, which is actually like for the captain and stuff like that. They have a bed, and they have a table in here, as well as a monitor to see the front of the ship. Pretty cool. Moving backwards, we have our uh, missile bays. So you can see into the missile bays through this little area right here, and you can walk all the way backwards to the med bay, walk even further backwards to the cargo hold, and that is pretty awesome. Nice. Okay, so from here, in the corridor, you can actually go downstairs into another corridor, which seems a little bit strange, and then you can actually move backwards into the reactor room. There you go. So this is the reactor room right here. You should be able to actually repair it all, which is awesome. And uh, there you go. All right, close that up, move backwards down the corridor into here. This is the ballast pump room. So you want to fix this. You actually have to come in here and fix all of these guys, which is pretty cool. We're then going to move backwards from there into this room. This one is just a battery room. There's nothing else in here, so that's a thing. <laughs> and then we move forwards into the toilet that a lot of people hated. They hated the fact that you could sit next to somebody while you're on the toilet, and you could shower next to somebody as well. Um, but there you go. That is that is literally it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get up here. There we go. Good. Uh, I think to actually get upstairs, you close it and you jump. There you go. And that is actually pretty much everything. Nice. Okay, so moving up from here, you can actually get into the airlock place, which is actually in the conning tower. Uh, and from here, you can get into the escape pod, or you can do the airlock lights. This automatically gets rid of water when it's inside, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and push this button. There you go. Both hatches open on the inside. You then get inside and you close that button. You sit in a little seat. And then you launch. Just like this. There you go. So if we were underwater, this would bob away. Uh, and that is pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. What I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to upload this to the workshop so you guys can all check it out. Feel free to modify it and change it if you want to and fix the little random things that are a problem. Uh, which there is probably quite a lot of. This is quite a complex thing. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, and I would like to say I think I would actually really like to continue with this in terms of adding more and more detail to it. So after I've uploaded it, I might actually uh, try and fix a few things and continue updating it on the workshop. Hopefully then, we'll actually get something really cool on the workshop for you guys to, uh, to try. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the series, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.